I'm going to build a piece of artwork for a t-shirt and I have a drawing that I did of a fish and it's uh, done on a little sticky pad, uh, free notepad to save on art materials and it was a really light pencil sketch and then a little he heavier pencil sketch over the top. Still a couple places where it might be refined a little bit more but it's a good start and uh, I'm going to lock off this um, bottom layer and this fish should be about 9 inches in width. And I want to do a little bit of pre-planning here. I, I'm going to make the fish body kind of a turquoisey blue color, blue-green. I'm going to make the fins, the top, the bottom fin, and the tongue in kind of a pink color. And then just to set it off, I'll make the eye in a black. So I'm going to have a three color print job. And um, I will kind of build these shapes in the most convenient manner. And then I will do some uh, vector tools to get it uh, in shape for printing. So let's start with layer two, the vector tool. And I'll just start tracing the fish out here. So this is your standard vector tracing. I'm going to turn off the fill. I think I will just flip the fill background colors around, so that, or fill and stroke colors around, so that I get to see my stroke, but I don't have to fight with a fill getting in the way. And I'm going to lay down a few vector curves. doesn't have to be perfect. You just with a little experience, you can plan out where the vector curve's control point should be. And you put those pieces in place. So there's a corner point. There's a curve point. Maybe another curve point up here toward the end. Pull a little handle out. I'm going to go around this jaunty little lip here. Pull back in here with another short point. And pull the curve handles out here. Notice that you keep your your handles um, kind of same angle coming in as going out of the curve. Angle of incidence equals angle of exit. So um, I'm just going around here. Now the great thing about a vector curve is that if you don't get exactly what you want, you can always add more points, take points out adjust handles, and um, there's really no need to stress out over this. It's all very changeable, editable, and controllable. So there's my my drawing. I'll go back to the, the main select tool here, and as you can see, I missed the line a little bit there. Just the line a little bit down here, so I'll pull the handle out. Um, going around here, maybe I want a little bit more down here. Going through here, uh, possibly pull a little bit more out there. I think that's good enough on the front there. Possibly a little more here, and a little more here. And there I have the shape of the fish body. So that um, that's my first shape. Now I think what I'll do is I'll lock off that layer and I'll just kind of divide these things up into layers so that I don't get confused and don't get in my own way. So back to the pen tool. This uh, bottom fin here looks like it's a pretty easy one. I'll pull out a handle here. I'm going to just make a round joint there where it hits the body. Maybe one more here to get a little, my, a little bit of a reverse curve. And that was pretty close. Uh, I'll hold down the command key to give me a temporary pointer. I'm going to start out here in the body and work my way straight up into this one here. I think I can pull that out there. And like that, then I'll come off of that corner point into here. 
little curve here. So I'm dropping these in. Now they won't be perfect. Here's a point where I think I'm going to go with my my inner line there on my my sketch. And that uh, actually doesn't look too far off right there, so I will once again hit the command key, turn into a pointer, to select that. Let's do the tongue. So I will make a nice simple curve shape. The thing about curves is the fewer points you put in, the better the curve is going to look. Less lumps all around. Okay, so these are the two fins and the tongue, which will be sort of a pink color. So I'm going to lock those off. I'm going to make one more layer and work on this eyeball. I might come in a little closer. And I think what I want to do is I'm not going to do this line sticking out here. I'm just going to limit it to the shape of the eye. So what I could do is uh, let's be really clever and use the Pathfinder just for the sake of getting a really good shape out of this here. I'm going to go in here. So there's my shape there. Just gonna make a closed shape out of that. And uh, that looks pretty good. I'm going to start another shape here. I think I'll make it just a touch rounder back here than the drawing. I'm gonna come over here. I think I can pull it out to make the top of the eye. Pull down here. Go down here, and what I want to do is take those and select both of them. Uh, I could easily just go divide that, ungroup the results of that, pick out that bottom piece there, delete it, delete that. And now I have basic eye. Okay, now I want the basic eyeball. So maybe I want to uh, hold down the option key to dry off in the center. This doesn't have to be a perfect circle. It's going to be a little more interesting if it's slightly oval. And like that. Okay, and I might want to make this little V-shaped uh, fishy eye reflection shape. So back to the pen tool, I'll just cut a V into it, like so. This would be a good candidate for the missed it by that much. Okay, there we go. So that one, that one, right there. I'll use the minus front, take that out. Okay, so I've got all the basic shapes here. Now you notice that I have a bunch of leftover pieces that hang off in the in the other parts, but I think I will take a break now, and in the next segment we'll chop this thing up, apply color to it, and uh, move on towards being a, a nice clean t-shirt vector piece of art.